Hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay video. This time around we are doing Disney Princess Magical Adventures. Um, I was going through this and I noticed it was a little bit heavy so again batteries were left in this unit. Luckily they didn't leak so I was able to play it or able to get the batteries out in good shape. Once again, I can't reiterate enough, if you're going to leave these things in storage for long periods of time, please take the batteries out. I appreciate doing that. The last one I did, the Star Wars, also had the batteries in it, but luckily, luckily, they did not leak. Uh, we had these type of batteries in it, the protocol batteries, guys. That's, that's high quality. Uh, thank you to the Protocol Battery Company for making batteries that uh, didn't leak at that particular time. If, uh, in case you needed to know, these are four AA batteries in this unit, the Disney Princess, just like the Star Wars in my last episode. Um, let's take a look at the joystick. Of course, you see there, right there, it's uh, got a button in the corner, kind of like an Atari joystick. Uh, in each corner you have the pictures of the princesses and there you go um, early early uh, early inputs of this joystick it feels kinda like the Frogger plug-and-play joystick very responsive so you know it's gonna be pretty good so we will check this out let's get started let's press that button like it's telling me to do in the bottom right corner all right, yes, yes, I will. All right. Uh, okay, what we got here? Aurora's Magical Awakening. Snow White Hide and Seek. Cinderella's Dress. Ursula's Garden. Ariel's, Ariel's Treasure Trove. All right, so we got about what, four, one, two, three, four five different games Let's see what the options does <clears throat> sound music sleep well, well I don't know if I'll go to sleep while I'm playing these all right hey let's just dig in let's start with Aurora's magical awakening all right let's go back out there we go let's try all right once upon a time of course you can read this along with me as I'm kind of just looking at it mm -hmm. Right. Mm, all right. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Choose your fairy. Flora, Fauna, Merryweather. Uh, Flora or Fiora? Flora. Okay. Fauna. Uh, let's see here. Old timey looking uh, cartoon graphics. Let's try her. All right, stage one. We wake up, grab, and sprinkle. All right, here we go. All right, the scrolling is pretty smooth. I like that about this game. All right, hit the button. I think you sprinkle that. Okay, neat. Joystick's responsive. The button is pretty responsive. The diagonals. Now I do. I will say the diagonals are pretty responsive. Okay, you're waking up everybody. Okay. You don't want to wake. You don't want to run out of magical powder here. I don't think. All right. Pretty simple, straightforward game. Now, do I need to wake him up yet? All right. Not not a bad joystick. I will say that. Okay, magical dust here, let's get that, let's wake everybody up, you know, I think everybody is uh, awake, well no, let's see, I need to go down there, let me go through these doors here if I can, hmm, all right, are you awake there buddy, all right, there we go, all right, here wake you up too, all righty, that, let's sprinkle some of that. All right, huh? Not too, not too bad. Mm, okay. 
Stage clear. All right, cool guys. We just cleared a stage. Got some points going. All right, just tell me to press that button in the corner. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So is this stage two? Let's see, can I go back left? Yes, I can. All right. Chair. Yeah, get that chair rocking. All right. Interesting music, too. Very, uh, I mean, it's kind of Super Nintendo like graphics. All right. Oh, oh, okay. So I can go down. I would, of course, you know wasn't too sure about that. All right. Simple game. I could do a playthrough of how to play this game. All right. Okay. You're awake too? All right, sounds good. All righty. Let's wake you up. There we go, stage clear. Okay, basically you just wake everybody up. I can see where you can get some high scores on this. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this. Quit that. All right, Aurora, oh, oh, Aurora's magical awakening. All right, let's go to Snow White's Hide and Seek. All right, let's see, once upon a time. So of course, you see the backstory here for Snow White. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. Let's just check it out. Find all of the seven dwarfs. All right. There's a, there they are, all lined up. Kind of like a Super Nintendo. Yeah, I could see this. Does this? What does the button do? Uh, nothing so far. I'm assuming I have to walk up to certain areas and kind of... Oh, there you are, bashful. Oh no, I got to guess. Oh wow, did I just luck out and pick the right one? Or did it pick it for me? Oh no, we'll continue. Interesting. Ah, who's he? Yeah, it looks like uh, Grumpy there. Are you Grumpy? Kind of looks like Grumpy there. Ah, yeah, you found me, darn it. <laughs> Alright. Who's in here? Somebody here? Uh, you're not hiding very well. Alright, this guy. Yeah. Sneezy. Alright, buddy. All right, make, take some uh, cold medicine, buddy. Oh. Don't wake him up. You're gonna wake him up, aren't you? Oh, come on. He just needed a nap, just like I did earlier today. <laughs> All right. We got it. All right, let's get a couple more here. All right, somebody's in there. What you doing in there? I want to say you're bashful. No. Yeah, I think you're happy. Yep. I could tell barely you you matched up there. All right, anybody in there? Nope. Hmm. I wonder. Mm. I want to say you're bashful. I 
so bashful. And the only one that's left, Doc. <sighs> oh, Doc. All right. You guys find him again? All right. Well, we get the gist of this. I'll, I'll do a, a lengthy gameplay of this at some point. All right, Cinderella's dress. Let's give that a shot once upon a time. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Let's do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm hitting the button. Oh, very neat. Okay. Just collecting some stuff. The joystick is very responsive in, in, in this. Oh, watch out for that cat. Okay, let's see. Very cool. A little simple little mini game. Alright. Watch out for that cat. Alright, here we go. Oh, go back this way. All right, I think I got all the pieces. All right, there we go. Uh, then we have to find that. All right, we get the gist of this. All right, all right, I, we get that. Uh, yeah, you just basically go through and find all the pieces and then assemble the dress. Pretty cool. Ursula's garden. Let's try that next. All right, long. Okay, once upon a time. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Level one. All right. Let's see the little trident. All right, the button. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Kind of like the little space invaders, kind of, sort of. I think I have to. Okay. So basically, you're freeing your creature friends, sea creature friends. Okay. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Level two. All right. Let's get ready. Okay. Basically, yeah. Kind of like Space Invaders. Of course, you move around a little bit more. Pretty simple. Simplistic game. Level 3. Music. I like the music. Very soothing. Calming music. Very. I, I kind of dig this. Yeah. I kind of like the different uh, little graphics here. Because it was it was blue, now it's kind of a green tint to it. Very cool. All right, let's get these guys out of here. All right, there we go. Level three's done. We do one more level, and then we'll just move on to the next one. Level four. All right. All righty. Right, like I said, I really like the joy. Ooh, I just got hit. I really like the joystick. Very, very uh, responsive and intuitive. Built very good, very well. Not micro switches. Doesn't feel like micro switches, but still pretty good. So, there we go. Oh yeah. All right then. Very cool. All right. Let's uh, let's head out of that. Ursula's Garden. Great. Great. Ariel's Treasure Trove. Alright. That's the last one of this particular series. Once upon a time, of course. Uh-huh. 
under the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, this music's kind of soothing. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going on here, guys. All right, just moving around, collecting stuff. The button kind of gives you a, a little burst of speed. And holding it, holding it down looks like it'll continue to get a burst of speed. This one, not quite as smooth as the last few games, but not too bad. You really got to adjust to the aerials. Um, can we get... Oh! Alright, so I just switched to the littler fish. Sorry, apologies if I'm not familiar with the name there. Alright, I got to swim back to aerial. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let me get back real quick. Alright, let's go. Alright, come on there. I wonder if I was going to wind up... What did I find? Watch my jig. Okay. Oh, so I'm just bringing back the artifacts to... What you must sis? Who, who, who's a, who's a, who's, who's a, you know that. What do we find here? Uh, okay. All right. Did you want what? Okay. Basically, you go through and you, you're just recovering items and stuff. Interesting. I think your goal is to try to get a lot, as many as you can. I, mean, I saw some more items in level one that I could have got. But, let's see here. I wonder if you're timed. All right, let's see here. Let's go back this way. burst of energy here. I think there, here's a I think part where the fish has to go through. There we go. Alright. We get that little, uh, looks like a trident. See, let me get that. Alright. Okay, I think it's automatic. Once I get, I guess I get, there's certain items I just get and automatically goes back. Ah. Alright. Dingle Hopper. Vigima what? And shoot. Okay. So basically, just, just fetch fetch items and take them back and get points and stuff. So, okay. Let's get out of that. Alright. That was... The Disney Princess plug and play. Okay, five games, different varieties, so not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, you know, it's like a, you know, not nothing detailed. I mean, it it'll entertain you if you if you're just <laughs> wanting something simple to play. So you know, not too bad. Not as not as um, bad as I would think it was. You know, it's simplistic you know you well, I mean what some of these plug and plays what do you expect I mean you know they're, they're not like full-blown Super Nintendo or, or console games but hey you know they're fun to play but uh, thanks again for joining me this was uh, I will say this was part one of the Disney Princess because I have got I'll show you this really quick that is my Disney Princess right there part two I will explore this one got another Disney princess here it's kind of very similar to the one I just played um, of course it's got I don't know if that lights up but it's got like a little wand at the top right there of course let me show you this that is not uh, a wand it's just kind of a little design 
something or another on that one. This is this one. I'm interested in seeing, see what this is like, see how different it is, what games are on it. Also, it's got a game key on it. I'll explore that to see what it does and how it how it enhances this particular plug and play. So you can pull it out there and you can see right there, there's a little slot for, for it. So I will explore that and see how that works for this plug and play. But thanks for watching me in part one of this Disney Princess and definitely check it out for part two. Um, thanks again and we will continue to cover all these offbeat plug and play systems and you never know. But thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time. Take care.